For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem that says replace the distributed loading with an equivalent resultant force and find its location on the beam measured from O. So as you can see, we have two triangles that are divided right here. This would be one triangle and this would be the other triangle. You know that the equivalent force on a distributed load in the triangle shape acts one third from the tall edge. That's one third. This would be one third of this triangle. So you got these two forces. Let's call this F1 and let's call this F2. And we're finding the moments about all. So F1 is equal to, as you can see, the, the area of the triangle is three times the length, which is three over two, which can start to be 4.5 kilonewtons. F2 is equal to three times 1.5 divided by two, because it's a triangle, and that comes out to be 2.25 newtons, kilonewtons. So the resultant force is the addition of these two forces that are both aiming the same way. So the resultant force comes out to be 6.75 kilonewtons. Going down. The moment about O, let's say clockwise is positive. So the first mom the first uh, force acts at this length. This length, you know that it acts at one third from the long edge, so this length is two meters. And the second force act at this length, which is three, plus one third of this length, which is 1.5, which would be 3.5, 3.5 meters. So F1 times two meters plus they're, they're positive because they're turning the lever arm clockwise and the other one's turning the lever arm clockwise as well. So it's positive. So it's F2 times 3.5. When you plug in F1 and F2, which we found right here, you get that the moment is equal to 16.875 kilonewtons. Now that you have the moment, you know that the moment is about O is equal to the resultant force times the distance D. Now D could be to the left of O or to the right of O, but it's obviously to the right because there's nothing to the left and it turns it clockwise. <clears throat> so the resultant force, we have it at 6.75. The moment we found it at 16.875, and D is what we're trying to find, the distance from O. So when you solve for D, D is equal to 2.5 meters. Final answer for the distance D, final answer for the moment, the resultant force F2, F1. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.